Hey guys, my name is Micah and today I'll be showing you how to use the pitch MIDI effect in Ableton Live. So I've got a project open here and I've got a MIDI track over here with a grand piano and um, I'm just going to open up my browser, you can do that, and under your MIDI effects you'll see pitch. Now if you open it up there are a few presets, but I want to just load the default one, so I'm just going to pull that in over here. In your device view you can now see that there's the pitch MIDI effect which is in front of your MIDI instrument, like all other MIDI effects. Now I've also got a clip over here, which is a chromatic scale starting from C1 to B2. And what this pitch effect does, it can do one or two of two things. Firstly, it can transpose your pitch up or down a certain amount of semitones. So if I'm going to do it up 36 semitones, everything's going to be a lot higher. I can pull it down. The other thing it can do is it can filter out certain notes. So I can set my range, and the way you do this is you choose the lowest sounding note that you want to hear, everything underneath that will be cut off, and you can also choose the range, which will determine how big the range of notes that you want to let through will be. So going back to my clip, my lowest note here is C1, so let's say I want the lowest note that I ever want to hear to be this G1, and I only ever want to hear one octave. Then I'm going to go back to my device view, I'm going to set this to G1. Just be aware, this looks like it says C2, it actually says C-2, which is a lot lower than C2, so just be aware that you do get minus octaves. Okay, so I'm going to pull the slider up, and I only wanted to let through the range of an octave, so that's 12 semitones. You can also just type it in. Now when we listen to it, when this light goes on, it's showing you that it's cutting out notes, and you'll only hear notes that are higher than G1. So here you can see the light blinking. And the lowest note you're hearing is G1 and then the 12 semitones after that. If you're interested in learning about more MIDI effects, just subscribe because I'm going through all of them that you have in Ableton Live 9 Suite. Thanks for watching and I will see you soon.